particle physics to evolutionary biology because I think everyone's okay with that. So raise your hands, we're going to raise your hand, this is the third time, you, second time you have the opportunity to raise your hand. Uh, if you've ever been described as too clingy, I've been described as too clingy. Yeah, that happens to nerds and geese sometimes, and you know, it's, it's trouble, but... Clinginess can have an evolutionary advantage. People are clinging in here in the front row, that's nice. Don't be afraid to cling to each other. Clinging, clinginess can have an evolutionary advantage, especially if you are a deep sea dwelling angler fish. fish in the deep ocean. Now when a male anglerfish runs into a female anglerfish, it's very important that they stay together. Because it is very unlikely that a female anglerfish will run into a male anglerfish when she actually needs a male anglerfish. <laughs> it's apparently not very often, which some of those guys move on. <laughs> and so uh, they, have, they solve this problem by having the male anglerfish bite the female anglerfish when they run into each other. I know that we've bitten each other in this audience. We, we have been members of the opposite sex, but this is somewhat different because the, the bite, the, there's an enzyme in the female anglerfish's and skin that actually dissolves the male anglerfish and he, he links her and her, his circulatory system becomes part of her circulatory system and they in effect become one organism and he becomes a sperm producing parasite on the side of her. <laughs> which, is, which is a fairly accurate, uh, you know, that relationship anymore. <laughs> this song is called The Anglerfish Song. Well, it's true that I once went through life as a guy who always had to rhyme life with strife. Yes, I've been burned and I've been spurned and through it all my friends I've learned. That love is not about whether you get stabbed, it's how slow the knife gets turned. But my friends, I've found an animal who doesn't feel this pain and my life is so much better now that I can feel the same. You can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known. Yeah, the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but she has no freaking idea what else to be. The deep sea dwelling anglerfish never has to find a mate. They are always there together when it's time to procreate. See, one or by the other bites a female on her side, and then slowly he becomes a sperm producing parasite. <laughs> and it's weak until he lives at all, he lives until she dies, and until that day he literally never leaves her side. Fish, you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known. Yeah, the deep sea anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but she has no freaking idea what else to be. For years, this rule has kept me out of hopeless despair. You simply do not feel what is always there. I ask my brain to entertain that pain is the same. That if I feel it all the time, can you really call it pain? Well, I don't have any friends and I don't have any hair, but neither does the anglerfish, and she doesn't care. And you can't feel alone if it's all you've ever known. Yeah, the DC anglerfish has no reason to be happy, but she has no freaking idea what else to be.